at 6.30. I'll come through, level up. You know, this is what it's all about. Three, and are they two, just getting into it? Oh, I think they're just getting into it. in the cloud, wow. I'm act well, I'm actually surprised. I don't think I'd see Ralphie pull out the cloud in a while, at least from my knowledge, but even so. Yep. So this matchup wasn't really the best for Peach. But, um, you know, now it's really all about how well can he judge Dark Cloud. Because, you know, the huge disjoint. Well, not so much this huge, but and already we got... Is he dead? He's dead! Just pulling out the stitch immediately. Getting that nice roll of luck right there and capitalizing on it. And Blazing Pasta is up a huge, huge amount right now. Yep. Got the out of shield. Definitely a great option. So Ralphie kind of got blown up that first stock. You know, that Stitch definitely kind of switched things up and kind of wiped him off the board. But he's actually, you know, making a really good, decent comeback right now. Can they get limit? 50 second cooldown turn, trying to read him, just inching for it a bit, but it's not going to work out. Oh, good parry. Not going to get anything off of it, though. Blazing Pasta is shielding a lot. He knows he's at 130 and knows a bear is just going to take it off. Big damage. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for a bear after that nair. He got the weak hit, too. Yeah, just gonna charge limit. Whole center stage. It's Ralphie definitely trying to get the stock off. Yep, and the shield poke gonna come out. All that shield damage he was putting on finally paid itself off. Well, at nearly 100%. You know, you gotta wonder what, you know, what was the cost. Right now, he needs to get some solid upper strings going. The stage not necessarily the best for that, but if he catches them in the open, just right in the middle, it's gonna be very hard. Oh, edge guard situation coming out. This should be. Oh, the platform actually messed him up a bit. The Peach Bomb are gonna come through. It's gonna wipe it off. So right now, Blazing Pasta up a pretty. Solid stock. Oh, big damage. Yup. Two nares. Regrab. Bear. Another nair. Down tilt. Up air. Zero to 80. Now, and this character is just so explosive. And I really like the use of up tilt from Ralphie, knowing that Peach loves to float above her opponents and it's such a good anti air. Oh, good tech. Wow, just falling out of that jab. Gonna try another time though. And look at Peach's shield. That F smash would have for sure shield poking killed. And the bear just gonna take it. So I'm curious to see if Ralphie sticks with the cloud. You know, because he did kind of get blown up that first stock. Bill, he was kind of making it work towards the end. You know, maybe he has a little bit more data to go on moving forward in game two. But if he doesn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see the wolf. Because right now, it was really just him getting outplayed on stage, kind of. You know, it wasn't really so much as the weakness of Cloud, you know, having that lackluster recovery coming through the shine. It was really more of the on-stage play. But Blazing Pasta, the conversions are real. You know? Literally took him from like 10 to 89%. With one one string, just one string. All right, and you know, just uh, as I saw, you know, Ralphie gonna stick with the cloud. Knows that he just needs to work on his on stage game. If he can get something started early and not have you know just a bad first stock in general, then he's gonna be able to make things shine a little bit more. Uh huh. And this is where you don't want to be against Cloud, but Blazing Pasta fighting back, and Ralphie shaking his hand confusion, knew he didn't want to fire that Blade Beam in the opposite direction, get hit for it, down tilt up there. Oh, that's, yeah, and all this shield damage coming through. Ralphie gonna fight back with the down air. Yep. 
All right, so Ralphie making himself quite nicely. Going to get hit by that fair. Now at the ledge, great option. Coming through with that huge disjoint, knowing that Pasta just wants the bear, but he's going to get that fair instead. And once again, the first stock goes to Pasta. Ralph taking a bit to compose himself. Oh. Oh, wow. Just baited out the grab. And look, already at 60, 77. And this is huge. This is beyond huge. Because, like, Pasta just gets these huge conversions off of so little. And when you're already down a stock, that can be not only, like, devastating, just the losing in general. Position morality, because you're just getting hit so many times. And now just a simple bear at the ledge is going to take it. And Ralphie down a full two stocks. Now, I think Blazing Pasta really only took, like, 20% in this whole exchange. Yep. Down throw in air. And Ralphie, if he wants to have any chance of getting this comeback, he needs to, like, make it happen now. Because right now, Pasta is just, you know, just going really in right now. All right. That, yeah. His stock is definitely getting evaporated from that. Yeah. Pasta has been so good, and honestly, just not getting stuff by Cloud's, Cloud's districts. You know? Like right now, Ralphie making a good job doing this, but this is a first in the entire set. You know, we always see Pasta fighting back with the down air, missing up his drift, not allowing himself to be put in that situation. Even the cross slash at 90 isn't going to kill from that part of the stage. Down air, though, and Ralphie kind of brings this back just a little bit, maybe Pasta getting a little bit complacent. Ralphie definitely doing a great job in bringing this back. Once again, the jump up side has just been so huge, and the dash attack is going to take it. Ralphie. Oh, is that going to take it? No, it's not. Fantastic, Dias. Oh, but the, the Peach Bomber just coming through off the ledge. And it's going to take it, just dashing any hope Ralphie had in making that comeback. You know, honestly, Black. Yo, Pasta, when it comes to the discussion of best peaches, just slept on. You know, absolutely. You know, we saw it in that game right there. The conversions were incredibly real. You know, even against a character with bigger disjoints, he didn't allow himself to, 